Zuma Radio and a fantastic cover of Dan Hill's hit Sometimes When We Touch, performed by the great Tina Turner on the morning Zoom with Sam and Jane. A compelling and important health conversation now. Genetic testing has revolutionized the field of cancer research, enabling scientists to identify unique genetic changes in tumors caused by both hereditary and non-hereditary alterations. This is breakthrough technology that has paved the way for personalized treatment options, plus it holds immense potential for the prevention of certain cancers. Our guest is Yelena Eisenberg, an ovarian cancer survivor. Welcome to the Morning Zoom with Sam and Jane. Good morning, good morning, ladies. <laughs> so nice of you to come in and chat with us in person here in the Zoomer Plex. Well, this is a good news story. Tell us about your cancer journey, uh, and obviously today you are cancer-free. Yes, it is. And I'm so blessed. And um, I feel like it's my mission to um, speak up about our health, uh, about the proactive actions that we can do um, to take care of our own health and our own life. Um, Janie was asking if you could just sort of expand on your own story, Elena, and uh, when uh, you were diagnosed with cancer and the connection back to other family members. Yeah, the whole journey began uh, when I was 37 year old, seven years ago. Um, uh, I immigrated to Canada 12 years ago. One day, um, the shock just hit me by um, having diagnosed with cancer, mm-hmm. the ovarian cancer, the most little one. So uh, I was brought into the major uh, cancer center, Princess Margaret, and I received uh, the state of the art care. I got surgery, I got treatments, and while being on the treatments, um, I was referred to genetic testing due to my uh, young age and the diagnosis. So um, the shock just couldn't stop hitting me when I was diagnosed with having genetic mutation, that I was a carrier uh, that turned out to be a mutation that I got from my father. Uh, that he got from uh, his father Mm, and uh, due to some other reasons running in the family uh, my father had no chance to know that he was a carrier and it turned to be that I got sick. So tell us uh, genetic testing as you're mentioning happened in your journey after you and during your your treatment um, CARP is advocating, CARP and New Vision of Aging is advocating for genetic testing maybe before you ha- end up having cancer to see if you are a carrier. So talk to us about that process, how you can get involved if you've not had cancer but you're concerned it may run in the family. I felt like had I known uh, that I was a carrier um, and I'm a nurse, I'm a registered nurse, Mm -hmm. I have the medical background, I know the implications of having a genetic mutation and uh, knowing that there are proactive um, um, actions that we can take to protect our health, having uh, known that uh, the outcome, the quality of my life in the last six years would have been completely different. So uh, had I known that I'm a carrier, I would take um, preventative surgeries, uh, that there is no doubt that I would have done that. Leading more healthy lifestyle, (laughs) uh, such as like life exposure or eating healthy. So yes, I feel like had I known before, I would have um, taken proactive actions to protect my health and um, just not to get sick. Yeah. Okay. As we sort of wrap up the conversation, some listeners may be hearing about genetic testing and its benefits from you for the very first time. Because of this conversation, what would you like to leave our listeners with based on your own experience? What would you recommend? So first of all, I would recommend to... um, all people, especially those who have uh, uh, family members um, with can- diagnosed with cancers, to go and get tested. Um, knowing that you carry genetic mutation, you can protect yourself by, as I mentioned before, uh, doing some proactive things. Uh, even those who s- don't have a uh, history of uh, cancers in the families, it does not mean that it won't be happening in the future hopefully not but 
um, it, it might happen. And there are cases when uh, people diagnosed with cancer and with genetic mutation as a first time in the whole family tree. Um, so it's really important and to know that you carry the genetic mutation because knowledge is a power. And myself, I know it's hard to live with this kind of knowledge, but there's a power. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I, I, I agree with you. I think it would be tough to have those conversations, right, with our family members and to then go and get the testing right. done because we'd be afraid. And and very important, to, you know, if you do think you might be a candidate for genetic testing, to talk to your doctor about it first, right? Yeah, so unfortunately, uh, the genetic testing is covered only in some very, very certain cases. Uh, you have to be eligible to get it done for free. Um, but again, you don't have to wait until you get sick or until, God forbid, your family member got sick. So go and get tested. Uh, yes, it yeah. will save your life. Thank you. Um, great message for our audience. Yelena Eisenberg, thank you for sharing your cancer journey and continued good health going forward. Yelena, thank you. Thank you. Uh, I just want to mention that uh, genetic testing help uh, to find very personalized and targeted cancer therapy that can make your life longer and happier. Mm -hmm. There it is. Thank you. Great.